Hello guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Karibuni sana kwa Trends Girl Channel, your number one gossip channel. So guys, if you have not subscribed, you don't know what you're missing out on. Take a second and hit the subscribe button because here we serve you hot trending topics. Now, today guys, I really want us to look at this Akode story because apparently Akode and her husband Mr. Mosh are no longer together and uh, the rumor has it that Akode was duped like Omosh uh, Alimcheza she, he just disappeared into thin air and uh, Akode aliachanisho hivo. So, I really want us to uh, go into deep uh, details of this story and see where did it really go wrong because uh, let's all agree we've been seeing red flags in this relationship and uh, ignoring them, trusting Akode that she got it all together but it seems like Lisemualo Lipo Nakama Halipo Laja because all the rumors it seems maybe kind of they were true now, I remember Kode married uh, her husband, uh, Dennis, back in April. Uh, people were really like, who is this Dennis Omosh? Because apparently he has zero social media presence. Hajulikani kabisa kwa social media. He doesn't have any social media profiles. He doesn't have any social media history. No, uh, people don't know about his family and everything. So people are like, who is this Mr. Omosh? Who is this guy? Now the first controversy started with this uh, Mombasa woman called Lucy. Don't know if you remember the story. Now this Lucy came out and uh, she revealed that a Apparently, she introduced Akode to Mr. Omosh. Yeah, that's what she said. But uh, she claimed that after introducing Akode to Mr. Omosh, Akode Alimcheza Akatorokana Mr. Omosh. So apparently, this lady was dating Mr. Omosh. So after Memo introduced Akode, Akode loped with the guy that is Mr. Omosh. Now, uh, after this story came out, people were like, maybe this girl uh, or this lady is lying. But uh, she even produced receipts. A little picture uh, where we saw her with Mr. Omosh back in 2019. Apparently, Walikwa Kenya, that is in Amboseli, uh, where they had come uh, for a tour in Kenya, uh, courtesy of Bonfire Adventures. Now, after this story came out, we saw Akode and Omosh Wali deny the whole thing. And they were like this lady is lying and even Akode was so angry because she started uh, threatening the lady saying that she'll sue the lady for defamation but apparently atukona Akode akienda court yo story ilisha hivo because she was like this lady will serve as a lesson to other ladies who defame uh, my name and all that but yo story ili kanyagiwa ikaisha hivo now, after that, uh, we saw the whole wedding thing. But before the wedding, uh, there's this other drama that happened about the Canadian-based um, uh, blogger that is Miguna Miguna. If you remember the story, we saw Miguna Miguna Alikuja Kambia Kode that uh, Mr. Omosh is fake, that he's not real. Now, he even went ahead and advised Kode to, uh, to, to sign... Uh, it's like to sign a document so that she can protect her property. Because according to Miguna Miguna, uh, he claimed that huyo mosha anakuja tu kumaliza akode, anakuja kuchukua pesa yake. So alikuwa na advice akode uh, assign a prenup so that she can protect all her property. Now, uh, before the Miguna Miguna story, there's this guy called, who was a thing called Fra Francis Muli. Alikuja kasema that he had uh, made a uh, he had made some research on Omosh and apparently he has no uh, information online, like Hana information online. So the guy said that uh, Akode, uh, sorry, the guy said that uh, Omosh Hana family online, like from the research he made, uh, uh, Omosh doesn't have a family, doesn't have friends or anything. He has, a, it's like he's a ghost because he has zero social media presence. Now, these are uh, created more curiosity because people are like, who is this guy? Who you nani? Because according to Akode, they met in Switzerland, they met through a friend and all that. But um, almost ana, ana any information online, like who is him trace? 
Now, uh, there was this other research that was made about Mr. Omosh, and it led to uh, the fact that uh, uh, Omosh apparently has a dating profile. He has a dating profile in a certain dating site. And in the profile, Omosh uh, claimed uh, he called himself Ed, Alikona Jita Ed. And uh, in the profile, he says that he's looking for a Kenyan lady aged. 18 to 24 he also claimed that he's an alcoholic but he's a christian so kwa profile yake ya dating site so apparently omosha alikuwa anatafuta a kenyan lady all along na maybe ni kama aliangukia akode after that we saw the wedding the big wedding uh where it had a lot of uh, celebrities we saw different politicians that are bbr lodinga that is aida odinga we saw kina jalango like Pielo Lumumba, and we even saw other celebrities in the entertainment industry. Like some, someone was saying it's like it was gathering of famous people or of celebrities because the celebrities were really there. There were so many celebrities, and we can agree it was a really grand wedding. Yeah? It was the a wedding of the year because uh, the wedding was really big. Now, uh, two months into the wedding, uh, that is two months after the wedding. Kumenza na easy breakup rumors because uh, akot there aliacha ku post omosh kabisa she stopped posting omosh kabisa like because before we could see her posting everything about their marriage everything like daily she would update, update her fans on their marriage but suddenly akacha kanyamaza kabisa and she was like really angry akiulizo and she was like stop asking me about my private life it's my private life so since uh, june the last time ako they posted omosh was uh, in june that is two months after their wedding so kapo akanyamaza kabisa and um yeah she was really angry akiulizo and after that people were like are these people okay wako sawa now uh six months into the relationship sorry six months into the marriage now in october first that's when i got the ali mwaga unga and she was like she was she has been so depressed two months ago she re, uh, she discovered some ugly truths like uh, the way she was describing it, it it seemed like it was really really bad and uh Akupena details, akusema which ugly truths are these. But uh, again, rumor has it that uh, Mr. Mosh is from Pakistan. Apparently, he's from Pakistan. Atasi from, uh, he claimed that he was from Switzerland. But uh, rumor has it he's from Pakistan. And apparently, he has a wife and kids. That is in Pakistan. Akona bibi na watoto. So... I think maybe maybe uh cause yon ukweli alijua because it, it seems like hiki tuli mgonga because how she's describing it she's like uh, she was so depressed she even claimed that amekuwa kilipa 50000 per hour therapy uh, so that she can at least get on her feet she said it's hard for her to even sleep like ana analala meangalia place moja and all that so in Akau you almost ali mugonga sana. And uh, people it's like there were so many red flags, people were warning her wakimwambia we almost maybe is not real, but Akwa there was so defensive and she was like nobody should talk about my husband, I know him and all that. So we really don't know what is happening, but it seems the 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 marriage is over because uh, immediately after she made the post about the repression thing alienda katoa title yenye alikuwa ameka kwa Instagram bio which was Mrs. Choiza alitoa karudisha akode so and even the profile picture on Instagram was uh, the wedding photo but alitoa kaika picha yake peke yake so it seems it was really bad uh, and it's like uh, almost ali Alimfanyile kitu, let's say that. But guys, I don't know. What do you think about this whole story? As you can share what you think in the comment section down below. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been your host, Trent Skull. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more hot trending topics. Well, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.